Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at another one of my favorite Mac apps, and this week it's for Contacts, and that's Busy Contacts by Busy Mac Software. Okay, so here we are in the Busy Contacts interface, and you can see that everything has loaded here. I've got my iCloud account over here on the side. And then I've got in the middle the various cards for my contacts and then specifics about whichever card that I'm on. And then you have this activity area over here. Now what I've done is I've added a busy uh, Cal up here so that that way it'll show you the integration between busy Cal and busy contacts. And so you can see here I've got an appointment with uh, Joe, the, Joe Installer uh, tomorrow. And if you look at the calendar, you can see I've got an appointment with Joe Installer. Joe Installer right here and so all my calendar events will show up over here for the users as well if I have the uh, actual busy Cal uh, program installed as well so I just wanted to show you that so this shows you all your activity now I want to dig in and show you a few things that you can do with this if you just look over here at activity you'll notice that I can get activity on the calendar right here I can get activity on mail that has been sent or received uh, any messages that have come in, uh, for instance, if I'm using uh, iMessage or something like that. And then here I've got Twitter as well. And so all these different activities will show up over here uh, as I add them. Now, let me just show you how to add a, a brand new contact here. So we're just going to come up here to File, and we're going to say New Card. Okay, and so this is a new card right here, and you can see this is all the different information that I can put into this particular card. And you can see first name, last name, and all that kind of information in here. Um, and you can see in these little drop downs, it's got social, and I can pick the different types of services that I want to put in here, and these will show up in the sidebar. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and uh, put in my information. Okay, so now I finished entering all of my information in here. You can see I've got phone numbers and email and that sort of thing. You can see as I hover over these, you can see I've got Twitter there. You know, I can click on these. And uh, right from Busy Contacts, I can tweet or view tweets or make this my primary. Uh, I can do that from any of these, right? Same thing from here. I am, I can message from here or I can send an email from here. Uh, so it's well integrated into your system. Now, the other thing is, is you'll notice that now that I've entered some of this uh, social information, over here on the side, you can see the different activity uh, things that are showing up. You see, i got a future event here coming up to meet with this guy tomorrow. Uh, here's some mail that I've got now that my mail's been integrated. Down here, you can see uh, a direct feed to Twitter with all of my tweets. And the nice thing is this will go across all of your users. So it'll, it'll show you these sorts of things, your to-dos, as well as uh, messages. And you can just click on here and anything you don't want to see you can just remove uh, like for instance if I remove tweets then Twitter disappears if I hit tweets again then Twitter comes right back uh, so it's nice I can also hide them on, on the side over here if I wanted to hide uh, what was down here or show it uh, but it's a nice touch because it integrates those things so that as you're looking at your contacts you can kind of see what's happening with uh, the people that you want to engage with now, we can also view it a different way. Let me just show you this. Up here we've got a secondary view, uh, which is right here where we can have column view across the top with all of our information. Uh, again, if I just uh, control click on this or right click, you see I can add as many of these uh, pieces of information as I want to uh, to this top bar up here. But it gives me a way to take a look at it. And then down here you can see here's the main card again, which I can scroll through. And then over here, here's the activity. Let me just go ahead and go back to the main view here. Now, one of the great things uh, about uh, all of this is that it's all customizable. Uh, let me just come up here to Preferences, and I'm going to show you here uh, in the Preferences area, if I just go to the Info panel, uh, you'll see that this mirrors what we have right here. And I can go in and choose uh, how I want to lay this out. I can add other... Um, you know, things in here, other social stuff. I want to add Facebook. I can add that. And what it does is it puts this down in the default card so that when I save that, it's going to change it here. Uh, I can change the font if I want to get a little smaller with it. Maybe you can see it, how it shrunk the font over there or even a little bit bigger. You can see it kind of blows it up. So I can make it whatever size I want to make it so that I can view it a little easier. Uh, but there are ways to, to uh, customize these things. Let me just put this down for a minute. Uh, so that when I come in here and edit, for instance, you'll notice that now it's added a uh, YouTube and Facebook area here where I can put my username information in there. So let's go ahead and say done here. Uh, so that gives you an idea of how this is laid out and how you can set up these various cards. 
Now, let me show you how you add accounts. If I just come up here again to the Preferences area, and I'm just going to come here to Accounts. Let me just put this right here. In the Accounts area, I can come in and add uh, different accounts. Like, for instance, I can add uh, different social media if I want to. So let's just add a uh, Twitter account here. Uh, so I'm just going to say this here. And let's add this particular Twitter account. And so it's going to ask for authorization. I'm going to go ahead and authorize the app. Oops, I've got to put my password in there. Let me just put that in there. And we'll log in. We'll authorize the app. And so now it's going to add that particular Twitter feed. And if I just put this down, you can see that it's added Twitter. And you can see it's added now my particular Twitter feed. And so you can see that it's got all my Twitter information in there. And it's even got the Twitter feed here on the side so that those are all put together. Um, and you can see here, too, I, I had Richard Branson, so it even adds him in here. So you do get this social uh, engagement here where you can put your different accounts in the sidebar, and those things will overlap. Okay, now that I've added that Twitter account, uh, you can see I've got myself on here twice now. Uh, what I can do inside of Busy Contacts is I can actually combine these two cards. If I just uh, select both of these cards together... And if I just uh, control click or right click, you see I can link cards. So if I just hit link cards, you can see that now these two cards are linked together. And you can see it says an iCloud card and a Twitter uh, card. And so it shows me the two cards that are linked together. Now, if I don't want them to show twice in here, I can come up here uh, to view. And I can say combine linked cards. And what that's going to do is you notice it's combined them both into one card. And so it's, it's included information from both. And uh, you can see everything's combined. It even added the picture from Twitter in here for me, but I've got one card there. You notice Joe uh, Installer is also one card as well. Now the beauty is, is I can still get back to Twitter. If I just want to see what the Twitter card looks like, I just click on this, and you can see that the Twitter information pops up right there. So that's everything on the Twitter card. And if I wanted to see the iCloud card, I can do the same thing, and that pops up here and shows me that information. So again, it's a really nice, uh, simple way to, uh, to combine those things so that you can get all of your different social media and then combine them together into cards so that you can view them in a simple format. Now, another thing that is uh, built into Busy Contacts uh, is the ability to add tags. Now, tags in Busy Contacts function like groups, let's say, in iCloud, where you can group uh, various cards together based on these tags, and you can put that information in there. So, for instance, I can come in here, and I can tag this as, uh, let's say, business. You can see I've added a business tag here, and let's say uh, I want to I tag it by uh, Twitter so that I know those that have Twitter are in there too. And so you notice as soon as I do that, it adds these tags in the side. And so I'll put uh, a tag here uh, for this one that's just Twitter. So I know that uh, he's in Twitter. And I'll put a tag on this one that just says business so that I know that that's business. And so now that I've got all these tags in here, uh, you can see that I can now just sort them by there's business and there is Twitter. And so I can use these as groups to quickly filter through uh, the various uh, cards and things that I've got. Uh, if I control click on this, I can also change the color. So let's say I want business to be red, and I want, uh, let's say, Twitter, of course, to be blue. And so there we go. And so now I've got this. And now you can see that it also changes the color on the tag here and on the actual name as well so that I can quickly see who's in business and who's in Twitter and the tags now take over for the various locations uh, once I set them up that way. So again a really nice way to easily filter uh, through your contacts. Now Busy Contacts also allows you to filter your contacts so if I just come up here to filter I can set up a new smart filter and let's just call this Twitter just for simplicity's sake and what we're going to do is say that all the following are true. We're going to say that Twitter is set. And we're going to say OK. And you notice I've got this filter up here. So here's all the unfiltered. Those are all my contacts. And here is the filtered by Twitter. And you can see there's all the ones that have Twitter handles on them. And so that's just another way to filter. If you didn't want to use uh, groups uh, with the tags feature here, you could also have filters uh, going across the top. Now, uh, now that you kind of understand how that works, uh, there are some other things that are included in uh, Busy Contacts. And one of those is also um, integration with uh, Busy Cal. And so if I wanted to set up a, if I just control click here, 
I can set up a new, uh, let's say, event. And so it's going to take me right in here with my name on it, and it'll set up the event. And then I just put in all the information right here into Busy uh, Cal, and it's even got me down as an attendee. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pop that down. So that gives you an idea of how Busy Contacts works. Again, to me, it's one of my favorite contacts applications because of all the added features inside of it. It just makes me, uh, it makes it a lot easier for me to use my contacts. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.